Have you just started your PT journey? You're not very sure which tasks you have to focus on, which tasks you are losing the marks and which tasks can help you to get your scores. Now this video is specifically for students who have just started their journey and today we are going to focus on listening important tasks and how you can get marks from listening module towards your writing module. Now guys, this is basically for students who have just started but intermediate students can also get valuable insights from this video because there are a lot of tips which students don't know, a lot of areas, insights which students tend to miss. So this is going to be really valuable. So make sure you watch till the very end. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure that you have subscribed and you have clicked the bell icon notification one so that you can get the notifications whenever we put new tutorials. And guys, this is really important that you follow all the tips and practice daily basis from VLE portal so that you can get best out of the strategies. There are students who have got perfect eight each as well from just watching our tutorials and practicing. So I hope you can also do it. Before we move further, if you're facing difficulties in any of the tasks, any of the modules, make sure to comment below. I'm replying to all the comments. I might be running late in replying, but I do reply to everyone. So make sure that you do comment and we will be giving free two weeks intensive course to one of our subscriber from July month and we will be seeing if you have followed us and if you have commented. So if you have not, make sure to comment now. So let's start. The very first task which you should practice even if you're going for six each, seven each or eight each is write from dictations. Write from dictations not only contribute marks towards your listening but it also contribute marks towards your writing as well. Every single word you get in every single question gives you one mark for listening, one mark for writing. That means on average, you can get somewhere around 30 to 40 marks from this task alone. Now, this is very crucial for your scores. This is very crucial for your writing marks as well. Now, what is the best way to practice this? Now, you have to understand you have to develop a couple of skills while you're practicing. Now, skills are something which cannot be developed overnight, right? So whatever I'm telling you, whatever I'm teaching you, make sure that you practice on a daily basis. Keep getting the feedback on them so that you can get better at it and automatically you will start performing good in this task. So let's quickly show you how to perform and write from dictations. Your ideas have been discussed and debated in seminars and tutorials. Okay, so what I've done is I've noted down the initial letters for all the words, but I'm going to quickly write it on a rough manner so it does not go away from my memory. Your ideas have been discussed and debated in seminars and tutorial. Now, what I've done over here is once I've noted down the initial letter for all the words, I have written it roughly so it does not go away from my memory. That's a common mistake a lot of students make that they write down the initial letters but they start typing on their screen straight away, okay? This is a mistake you need to avoid. You need to write them roughly so that it does not go away from your memory. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it perfectly based on the ideas I've written, based on the words I've written. Now, your first letter has to be capital. So, your ideas, idea, both I'm going to write. Whenever I'm not too sure whether it's going to be plural or singular, I write both, okay? Because there is no negative marking for writing extra words. Your ideas, idea have been discussed um, and it was debated in seminar. So I'm again not too sure it's seminar or seminar. So I'm going to write both seminars and tutorials <laughs> and tutorial. Okay. Now this is what you need to do. Whenever you're not too sure whether you have to add any preposition, any article, just add there is no negative marking, okay? Now, let's submit this, but quickly let's proofread it. Your idea, idea have been discussed and debated in seminars, seminars and tutorials. Yeah. There we go. So we got perfect marks, 11 out of 11, and the time we took was about less than two minutes, okay? And still I was explaining a lot. In the exam, try to keep it under two minutes, but the actual time I would advise you to take on every dictation is not more than 1 minute 30 seconds, okay? So that you have time for the other dictations. As this is the very last task, guys, for write from dictations, I would advise you to make sure that you at least have 
five to six minutes for this task because you can get even four, right? And that is the time you need for four dictations. Now, what you have to do is you have to practice this on a daily basis. So I would advise you to start with 25 dictations every single day. Now, that's going to really help you to develop the skills. What are the skills needed here? First skill is that you need to memorize your memory skills. Second skill needed is your note taking. As you could see that I'm not writing all the letters. Okay. As you could see that I have written the, my notes on a very small space. Even when you're writing it, when you're practicing it on your notebooks, don't write in a very you know lengthy manner. Don't try to write it in a couple of sentences. Try to write it short and crisp so that it is easy for you to write a lot of content. Now I'm going to quickly introduce you to short handwriting notes. So what does that mean? That means when you're writing, your hand should not move. Only your fingers should move, right? This is the way you need to write. This is the way you can write faster, right? So you have to get yourself adapted to this particular technique of writing notes. So that is the second skill you need to memorize and learn. So that's why you have to practice 25 daily, okay? Now, the third thing which you need to keep in mind is when practicing this, try to go through all different kind of accents so that it is easier for you to write, get yourself acquainted with all the types of speakers, right? So that is very important. And yes, most important, last but not the least tip is that you have to make sure that your spellings are correct. If you're not writing the correct spellings, you're going to lose the mark for listening and for writing. So as I've shown you the trick, write extra words, additional words when you're not sure so that in the exam, you don't get any marks negatively just because of your spellings. Okay. Now let's talk about the second most important task, which is highlighting correct words, because this task not only gives you marks towards listening, but also gives you marks for reading as well. Yes, you get marks for reading from this task. Students struggling in reading, this is really important for you. And this is not a difficult task. So I'll show you a quick tip, right? So that you can apply it in your practice sessions and this can really help you to get better marks in this particular task. Now, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're very focused and fully concentrated. You will get a passage like this on the screen. In the exam, you can get somewhere around two to three. Now, what you have to do is you have to click on the words which you feel that are not spoken correctly by the speaker because some of the words will be intentionally... Hmm, some of the words will be intentionally speaking right. Because speaker will speak some of the words intentionally wrong as compared to the passage given over on the screen. Hmm. As compared to the passage given on the screen. So you have to make sure that you click all the words which you feel are not the correct words spoken by the speaker. Now on top of this, one extra thing you need to be very careful of is that this task has negative marking. Dictations did not have any negative marking, but this task definitely has negative marking. So only select the words which you are totally 100% sure that are definitely the incorrect ones so that you do not end up getting negative marks. Okay. Now, what is the trick? The trick is that you need to move your cursor along with the speaker. Second thing, read it in your mind. While the speaker is speaking, you also read it in your mind so that the moment you feel that speaker has spoken something different and you're reading something different, you can easily pick it up. This strategy is called read it along. Okay, so read it along with the speaker so that you can pick all the words. Now I'm going to play this. So we'll do this one together. I've spent most of the week with the flu. I'd heard flu season was starting earlier this year, but I wasn't prepared for it to be this early. In part because predictions for flu outbreaks are still not that precise especially in germy places, like here in New York City. But a new approach, borrowing real-time analysis techniques from the latest weather prediction models, might be able to forecast the next flu season. Weather modeling draws on current conditions and filters to make predictions. Now that we're all Googling flu-related queries when we get sick, real-time influenza infection rates are available online. Epidemiologists can feed this info into models, like the ones used for weather, that can sort through the chaos to predict sickness or health. Researchers tested the flu formula against data from five actual recent flu seasons in New York City. Given online flu search information, they were able to predict the peak of the outbreak in the city nearly two months in advance. 
The findings are in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Now, I would love a prediction of when I'm going to be fully recovered. All right. So as you guys could see, I got all six out of six. Now, did you notice that there was also music? Yes, that's what you can also experience in the exam. They would play some sound, some music, and maybe there are a couple of speakers speaking. So the very important thing which you need to keep in mind is concentration and focus. Now, also, I don't know whether you guys noticed, I missed confirmation, but I did not stop because if I stopped over there, I would have been very far off from the speaker and I always have to move along with the speaker. So when I reached over here, then I selected it and this is what you need to do. Even if you miss one or the other words, don't stop. I'll move along with the speaker so that you do not miss any particular word. Now, guys, this is very easy task, but your concentration level, your focus level needs to be on the top so that you do not miss out any of the words. Now, in this particular question, I got six. So that means six marks for reading, six marks for listening module. Now, make sure that you practice at least 10 on a daily basis. Again, this is very important task from your listening module. Now, if you're new to PTE, do not worry, do not get scared because we are going to make more valuable insights and especially videos and tutorials for the beginners, right? So guys, make sure that you subscribe and like our channel because you're going to get insights which you have never got. I'm going to show you all the tasks, all the tips, all the techniques which are going to help you to crack your PT scores in the very first attempt. Make sure that you share it with your friends as well. As I've told you in the start, as I've told you at the start of the video that we are going to give one two weeks intensive course free of cost for the students who are going to sit for their exams. So make sure that you comment as well. That was it guys. Vishal is signing off from VLE. I will see you in our next tutorial.